Genesis 47, 28 through 31 says, Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years, and so the length of Jacob's life was 147 years. And when the time for Israel to die drew near, he called his son Joseph and said to him, Please, if I found favor in your sight, place your hand on my thigh and deal with me in kindness and faithfulness. Please do not bury me in Egypt. But when I lie down with my fathers, you shall carry me out of Egypt and bury me in their buried place. And then he said, I will do as you say. And he said, swear to me. And he swore to him. And then Israel bowed in worship at the head of the bed. If you are joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Genesis 46, 8 through 47, 31, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, how important is it for you to know, or where would you like to be buried? Do you really care, or is it some place that you really like to be laid for the last time? I struggle with this, frankly. I really don't have a handle on exactly what I'd like to do. I have the opportunity to be buried with my wife, Tony, in a national cemetery when we die. This would give our children a chance to visit our graves, but honestly, after several years, those visits might become few and far between, and certainly our grandchildren might not ever visit the graves. On the other hand, I'd love to be buried in Greece. I've adopted the village in which Tony was born in, in the island of Crete, and I have grown to love it. The chance of Tony and I having visitors would be severely restricted just because of travel. But I love my adopted town. I love it because I love my wife, and I fell in love with the town the first time I visited when we had been married less than a year. Jacob did not want to be buried in Egypt. He wanted to be buried in the area that his father and grandfather had been buried. He wanted everyone to know that that was his home. That was the place which God gave him. The old hymn tells us, the world is not our home that we are just passing through. But God has given us a desire to have roots. My roots are first in Christ, my home is obviously in heaven, but my temporary resting place until I'm restored with my body should be a place which I desire. Now it's not wrong to have roots or desires. If you look at the Old Testament and New Testament, most of it gives us the roots for our lives and the desires of our heart. Where are your roots and how deep do they grow? <music> 